this is dr shakil ahmed today i want to have a video about thyroid function test how to interpret or how to read or how to understand the thyroid function tests whenever we are talking about thyroid function test in fact we are describing the function of two glands named pituitary and thyroid glands the pituitary gland has two lobes one is anterior and the other is posterior lobe the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland is producing tsh thyroid stimulating hormone as the name of the tsh explains tsh is stimulating the thyroid gland to make hormones named t3 and t4 whenever sufficient thyroid hormones are produced circulated in the blood it is informing the pituitary gland to decrease or stop production of the thyroid stimulating hormone this mechanism is called feedback mechanism i should emphasize that the thyroid in the pituitary gland are dependent on each other in production of the thyroid hormones and tsh eu thyroid this is a status where the tsh level in the blood is within normal limits and the t3 t4 level is also within normal limits so the thyroid gland is functioning normally and the pituitary gland is also functioning normally hyperthyroid as it is clear from the name hyperthyroid the level of the t3 t4 in the blood is high in whenever it is high or more than normal it will stimulate the pituitary gland to reduce the production of the tsh so in the blood the level of the tsh will be low having a low tsh with raised t3 t4 is a status of hyperthyroidism hypothyroid the thyroid gland is not functioning or if functioning it is not producing sufficient t3 and t4 so the low level of t3 t4 is sensed by the pituitary gland and the pituitary gland will increase the production of the tsh and the level of the tsh will be high in the blood if we are having high level of the tsh in low level of the t3 t4 in the blood it is a clear case of hypothyroidism thanks for watching like and subscribe i hope that i have delivered the message to medical students and health professionals thank you